Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be relocating my Ring Doorbell 3. So as you see right here, I have my uh, Ring Doorbell 3 ready to go. But I just had these, uh, I guess, security doors installed here. So I need to move it from there. To there and because it is a uh, hardwired there are some things that we're gonna have to do in order to get this done let's go over some of the materials that you're gonna need to start off you're gonna need some cable some bell wire cable uh, I, I'm gonna put a lot of these uh, products on the link on the description below if you guys are interested but for sure you're gonna need this type of make sure it's cable meant for the doorbells because I threw my old doorbell away I went ahead and I bought another doorbell to put where I'm gonna leave the opening. So this is just me, additional. You're going to need pro probably some uh, mounting screws here. So I just bought these just in case. A uh, crimper, a wire crimper, and this one's a crimper, stripper, cutter. So your drill bits. On mine it's asking for a one fourth drill bit. You're gonna need something that looks like this. This is just kind of like a, a way to hide the, the cable so they're not just exposed, right? So there's something like this. And of course your drill. So, so the very first step here is to uh, uninstall your your ring doorbell, if you notice, it is on right now, so I have to go turn off the, the power to it. So let me go turn that off. All right, so I went ahead and I turned it off. Uh, the reason you still see it that is on, because remember, we have a battery installed. Uh, this is a real good reason why you don't get rid of your of the supplies that come with your doorbell, because you are going to need this little contraption to uh, remove the security feature right here. So we got to flip it over, remove the uh, specialty screw on the bottom remove the case and now we have to remove the screws that are in here well you know for now right now what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna take this the battery out now we're gonna remove the screws here you just flip this over Turn this around and remove the uh, screws from the from the, the cable from the back. There's a white and a red one. Try to remember this. Uh, white on the right. All right. <laughs> Did the uh, I don't know if it's uh, disconnected or not. But yes, the next thing is to remove that. Okay, so this is where we're going to attach or extend this cable so it can go out. But it's about another 8 feet though, so go ahead and open this up right here. This bell wire. Alright, so this is a 20, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to a uh, 20 gauge. I'm just going to go looking for the 20 down here and just strip the wire a little bit. Crimp to... Uh, so these little puppies that came with the little um, crimper. So little, I'm gonna crimp it on one side first. So I'm gonna go ahead and crimp the other one now that I'm here. All right, good to go. Next I'm gonna insert red with red and white with white. I'll start off with the white. Uh, and since I'm going to put, go ahead and install this old one back, I'm just going to do it right now so I don't have to come back to it. Again, this is more for decoration because I didn't wire it. This is more so it could kind of cover the, uh, the crimping that I did there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run enough cable to go where I need to go. All right, so now I'm on the other side. I'm gonna run the cables this way. So I want my camera facing away from the house, not towards the house. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put this one as close to the edge as possible so we don't see the cable. I'm gonna try to hide the cable as much as possible. So I'm just gonna make 
a couple of little eyelid holes here. All right, make sure to get the right bit for the job. I tried making the hole and I had the wrong bit and it wouldn't go in, so I had to go get because the toughest bit that I could find at Home Depot. All right, round two, let's see. Man, what a difference the right bit makes. All right, let me make the other hole right here. All right, so the next step here is to go ahead and insert these anchors. Okay, once you got them down, your next step is to feed your cable through your housing. And then secure this to the wall. Once it's getting close to getting tight, this is where you want to align it to make sure that you have it exactly where you want it. All right, that's one. All right, so now it's secured. Next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, cut the excess cable off. Then I'm going to strip. Not too much just enough just give it a little start right there and go ahead and screw it in all right so the next thing is to secure it back to where it was using the four screws put the battery back in put the cover over it and then this one you gotta flip it over for the security one. Alright, so the last step here is to hide that cable that you see coming across. You're gonna use this right here. It has a sticky backing. Get the film off. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting the, the cable inside the slit here all the way to the edge right, and then I'm just gonna feed the cable in through here all right so I mean it's not 100% straight but it'll do here I have this little one section that's left all I have to do is cut a piece out here to connect it and it's good to go all right so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something this was a way to relocate your ring doorbell from over here to over here so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, please check out my other videos. But once again, thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.